It's the Pit Parade, a nostalgic look at the Pittsburgh scene from the KDKA TV archives. <laughs> Neighbors said all they heard was a huge boom. And when they looked out of their windows, the Yule's house was gone. The house on Penn Vista Drive in Churchill Valley blew sky high this week in 1952. The culprit was a gas leak. The stories were miraculous. The daughter was thrown out of her second floor bedroom window and into the backyard. The mother and father were sitting in the living room when the house fell in around them. But no one was seriously injured. No one could understand it. A man who dedicated his life to world understanding was honored this week in Pittsburgh. It was George Washington Carver Day to remember the great American scientist, agricultural chemist, and educator. Another great educator, Dr. Alma Ellery, was there to oversee the ceremonies. Another Pittsburgh woman wouldn't have missed these ceremonies for the world. After 16 years of effort, Mrs. John Phillips managed to get a postal stamp honoring Betsy Ross printed. She had lobbied and written letters for years, saying a stamp for the woman who made the first American flag was long overdue. Her dream came true in 1952, the 200th anniversary of Betsy Ross's birth. And no matter where they were born, Poland, China, Austria, these people were all Americans now. Pittsburgh held its first citizenship ceremony in 1952 at the federal courthouse. Each was given a tiny American flag and the privilege of being an American citizen, a precious gift. They were pledging allegiance to the flag the week of January the 9th, 1952. Saying cheerio on video, I'm Bill Burns for Pit Parade.